In this video, we're going to be talking about natal sun in Taurus and what this placement means in a general sense in terms of personality and um, talents and uh, just general meanings. So what the sun represents in astrology is it represents the quality of our actions. So it's how our actions come across to others and it's how we want to be seen in the world because it rules leo and the fifth house and it it's all about our ego and leo and the fifth house are fixed fire um, houses and sign and fixed is about a constant way of being and fire is about action energy or perception. So the sun shows a constant way that we act, perceive things, or um, our energy as well, because fire is about energy. And that's why it comes across to others as our personalities, or at least an aspect of our personalities. Whereas the ascendant is more so our appearance, and also our, our personality in a, a superficial sense, you know, the the sun is more so our character and the quality of our actions and kind of how we want to be seen. So Taurus is the sign of value, money, possessions, and quality. It's all about aesthetics and also the physical senses. And it's all about the physical world. Um, it can also be about earth and being grounded, being practical. But um, generally speaking, when you have the sun in Taurus, in terms of your um, actions and your personality, everything that you tend to do is to be a quality person. That's kind of the motivation behind it. And, to, it, and it always revolves around value because that's the meaning of Taurus. So Taurus sun means that your actions are either motivated by the desire to raise your value or increase it, to acquire more value out in the world or to you know acquire valuable things, or to demonstrate your value and aka your worth, uh, because that's what Taurus is about as well. So these people are like, quote unquote, quality people. And a random trait about them is they tend to have a lot of integrity that's just a a trait of their character they they stay true to themselves but also more importantly they stay true to the promises they make to others and that's because uh, taurus has scorpio in the seventh house which is um about agreements and and you know taurus is about money and what gives money value is people's faith in it and its integrity and same thing with uh anything that is quality or luxury or that has value um clothes that are luxury brands for example or that have more value than the average clothing brand this is kind of like a tourist um, trait and what gives them value is their authenticity. That's why, you know, a fake designer um, item is, you know, so something that's very, you know, frowned upon in, in the sense of um, quality and, and in the sense of, of value. Like that's one of the worst things is to to have something that is not integrity. So that's that's just a random thing that has to do with value. And that's the same thing with money. Like what gives money value is that it's not counterfeit. Is that the fact that it's real and it's printed from the government. So like with Tauruses, they have that aspect to their character as well as that they're they tend to be honest, um, easygoing and also, they have like a lot of integrity, especially to what they say to others, because the most important thing to their egos is their sense of self-worth and their esteem and also how other people perceive them and how other people feel about them. Now, um, because 
the sun shows the motivation of our actions. Uh, the sun in Taurus shows that the ego revolves around your sense of self-worth. And so often Taurus will acquire external representations of success in the world. So aka, you know, material things or wealth. Because uh, the sun is our ego, and ego is something that we want to show or demonstrate. And so this manifests um, as as a lot of wealth for Taurus people, or like wanting to have nice things, or uh, wanting to have a good taste. Sometimes they, they, they just have good aesthetic qualities as well. And aesthetics are a big part of this sign. Um, and... So a lot of times these people have creative gifts and they just have good senses and they just have this innate understanding of human psychology on just a very superficial level. Like what looks good or what um, tastes good or what um, what would appear nice in the eyes of others. So they they have a qualitative capacity um, to them. And they could have an interest in things such as design and like creating things, you know, making art or using their aesthetic gifts to, to organize things or to beautify things. Taurus is ruled by Venus, the planet of beauty, the, the planet of value, money, and... Um, and, and material things so also Taurus Sun the next thing that I'm going to talk about is that Taurus Sun also indicates talents because Taurus is all about resources and talents are essentially intrinsic resources or possessions that we have as individuals and so when people have second house activations or they have the, the sun or, you know, a planet in Taurus, there is something talented about them because resources do not always have to be physical. Some Sometimes resources can be somebody's mental faculties uh, or somebody's um, creative talents. So a lot of times Taurus will have talents and especially wherever the house is that the sun in Taurus is in. So, for example, if you had the sun and Taurus in the third house, this shows that you have an intelligent mind or like a talented mind. Um, and it's something that can't can't really be taught. Whereas, let's say if it was in um, the seventh house, this would make somebody quite relatable and charming. And just have a very uh, innate understanding of psychology because seventh house is about how we relate to others. So it really depends where you have it in. Um, and this will show you what type of talents that you have. But, um, you know, the word talent comes from the Latin word talentum. And this was a Grecian measure of weight. A talent was a sum of money. So talent is very tied to Taurus. Taurus is the sign of money, it's the sign of value, and therefore is also the sign of talents. And that's something people uh, may not know about this sign. Now, uh, when the sun is in Taurus, it's in the 10th sign from its own sign, which is Leo. And the 10th house is about our reputation and how we are seen by others. So when you have the sun in Taurus, how you tend to be seen, which is uh, your your sun and and how you uh, shine in the world, which is also the sun, is the fact that others tend to look at you or look to you as an example, especially of quality, ideal or success, especially due to your actions and your ambitions and the things that you do in the world. A lot of times that's how you want to be seen when you have this sign. But um, even as a child, you may be used as an example by teachers. You may stand out in some way. And uh, the 10th house is also about ambition and building things. So Tauruses love um, opportunities to build, especially to build their success. The 10th house is all about success. But even when it comes to pleasure and fun, which is ruled by Leo, it's all about passions, fun and pleasure and games. 
and the sun rules Leo. So the sun being in Taurus shows somebody that loves building games. So as a child, a random trait is that Tauruses liked things such as Legos, especially. That could have been some of their favorite um, toys to play with. And they, they just like games where they can build things. They like things such as The Sims. They like things such as Zoo Tycoon, like things where you could build your own city or your own business or your own reality. So they just love that. That's an aspect of their personality. They're very ambitious as well because the 10th house is not only about building, but it's about ambition. Now, uh, you may also attract many copycats as a Taurus and you will um, attract some haters because your actions can um, incite jealousy or envy in others. That's because the reaction to Taurus is Scorpio. It's the opposite sign. So um, often as a, as a child, this can manifest as bullies. Um, and it, this is just people that can't help but pay attention to you. And sometimes this manifests as um, them being negative towards you. But really, that's a, it's all coming from the fact that you know people um, sometimes can't help but like pay attention to you or be obsessed over your actions. Um, it's like certain people just have that uh, effect on you. And uh, um, if they feel like that you're vulnerable, they might um, express it as um, negativity, especially as a child. So Tauruses can deal with childhood bullies, especially when they don't know their own self-worth. Now, um, with the sun in Taurus, you also have an affinity or a passion for wealth value, luxury, or exclusivity. Um, like I was saying, you have aesthetic gifts and an innate understanding of um, basic human psychology. So like touch, taste, sense, and smell. These are the like basic elements required in order to create things that are valuable or to create the aura of value. So Taurus is a very important sign. If we didn't have Taurus people, if we didn't have people that understood understood these kind of traits, we wouldn't have valuable things. We wouldn't have money. So Tauruses often have just this uh, very practical uh, and like uh, building oriented mind, where they're able to build a vision. They're able to make things pretty. They're able to beautify things, um, and and they just have that talent, which you know many people may not have. So the other trait of this uh, sign and of this sun sign is that you know how to build a plan. You, you tend to be quite practical, stable, or resourceful. Though others can tell you this more, than, more easily than you can. Because for the most part, it's very unconscious to you and it comes very naturally. And you feel, feel like it's normal. But the truth is when you have the sun in Taurus, you are abnormally planned. You're abnormally thoughtful or like psychologically calculated. And um, when we think of psychology and astrology, we, we tend to think of Scorpio. But in the Taurus sense, uh, th this is also about psychology, too, because it's the sign that's on the same axis as Scorpio. But um, Tauruses tend to be psychologically calculated, but not in like a manipulative way or like an interpersonal way. They're more in a ra rational or qualitative way, if that makes any sense. Scorpio is about when we understand the psychology of others and when we know how to manipulate things in our favor, when we understand other people's values. But Taurus, they just they're they're psychologically calculated in like a rational and constructive or like qualitative way. Like they can make something out of nothing. Like they know that one plus one equals two. So and they know if they take this block and this block, if they put it together, they can build a t build a tower or they can they can build a business like they they just they just understand basic step by step how to make a good product or like how to do a good thing uh, that's the type of psychology i'm um insinuating so and and this is something that doesn't come naturally to all people so um that's why others can point this out more easily than the tourists themselves so um Taurus is also about things that matter, hence variables. So they're very good at mapping out the variables of things and therefore uh, planning. Now, something about Taurus is a unique personality trait is that if something doesn't have a reason, then they will not participate. 
especially if something doesn't have a reason that aligns to their values. Um, and the only time they'll do something that's not in alignment to their values is if they value uh, the person that wants to do it. Then they might, you know, do something that they don't feel like doing for the sake of um, the person that they value or that they care about. But um, Tauruses tend to be averse to taking risks or breaking out of their self-defined box. Um, And that's because Tauruses need to know all the variables before they attend, before they jump into things or before they participate in things. And again, Taurus is about things that matter, and it's about variables. It's about blocks. It's about step by step, one, two, three. It's all about each piece, and that's why they they're so creative too. Um, and so all of this is just variables. Uh, variables are just pieces. They're just um, self defined objects. So, anyways, um, let me give an example of you know Taurus in different situations. If it's a party, Taurus is the type of person that needs to know who all is going to be there. That way they can psychologically analyze if they're going to have fun. (laughs) If it's a trip that they're going on with others, they need to know where's the hotel and who's paying before. And also they need to know what are all the possible things that they'll be able to do based on the location. And they might be the type to ask questions like, which restaurants do they have at that country? Like they need to know all the little variables to know if they're going to, uh, if it aligns with their values. Now, okay, in another scenario, investments. So if it's an investment, Taurus is the type of person that needs to know all the factors that may or may not affect the success of the investment. And that that actually tends to make sense. And that's why Taurus are so good in those financial situations. And for the most part, um, you know, Taurus could be averse to taking risks, but, um, you know, other signs might jump into things without thinking about variables or they might just take a risk on things. And, and, you know, sometimes that can lead to a good outcome, but sometimes that can be foolish, but, um, it really depends on the scenario, you know, but, um, if it doesn't necessarily stop you from participating, then, these are just simply the first things that you start to think about when you uh, think about participating in things. So some Tauruses can take risks, but they immediately also start thinking about, you know, all the factors of things. But like some other signs, they just simply might jump into things without, you know, knowing everything or let alone psychologically breaking down all the details in their heads of how things are going to turn out. Uh, but, you know, that is that is not um, that's not the way Taurus rolls. So anyways, that is my general overview of Taurus Sun um, in the next video. Uh, actually, the next sequence of videos, I'm just going to be breaking it down through each of the houses and what this placement means um, in the first through the 12th house. And uh, so if that interests you, stay tuned and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you enjoyed, then don't forget to leave a like and um, subscribe if you'd like to see more content. Um, Other than that, I will talk to you guys sometime soon in another video. Peace.